Merry Christmas, everyone. Santa brought us these really cool kayak carts. They're by Sea Tug. And we did some research. We seem to like them. We're hoping this will help for those places when you have to park further away from where you actually need to put in. Hopefully they work with the bicycles, too. Yeah, we're really hoping that. That would be really awesome, like, to be able to bicycle along and hook the kayak somehow to the car. And or the bicycles with the kayak and bicycle to where we want to get in. Yep. So, Steve's going to open the box. We're going to look at it. We're going to figure out how to put it together. I'm going to try and stay out of the shadow. The sun is setting. We're at my mom's house. So we're enjoying being able to use her deck to, or her sunroom to put this together. They're supposed to be collapsible and fit in the kayak pretty easily. Smell new. Do they smell new? <laughs> this is cool. Wow, lots of cheese. Oh, look at the tires. That's pretty cool. Mm. There's a kickstand. You gonna read the instructions? <laughs> what do we need instructions for? Good instructions. Oh, they could do that picture. We have pictures on this too. What is this? Oh, different accessories. Oh, electronic mounts and stuff that they sell. It's kind of cool. Okay. What do we do? <laughs> she grabs the instructions. I have to see the pictures. Looks like this is for bolt together. What does that say? With. Of course they would put a warning label on it. Don't do not stand or use as a people mover. Or, yeah, don't move me with it. <laughs> and we don't hit Steve in the eye with it. Operate at walking speed only. Do not tow. Kickstand must be at the rear of the seat tug opposite to the pull direction. Okay, let me see you insert it. <laughs> Wait a minute, I gotta look at the picture. See if you can get it. Ah, she did. I did it. <laughs> I didn't think I would. Thought it tricked you. Didn't go all the way through. Yeah. It snaps in. It's a little. It was pretty easy. Couple of what? <laughs> I don't 
few minutes, I'm gonna say a couple of idiots. <laughs> I need to get mine to fit the snap in. Turn it. see any tread difference so so how do you lock it back in place you push it up yep yep boom boom well that was easy this is a nice short video so the, the nice thing is the reason i like this one oh they have the top the strap the reason i like this i'm gonna one let you put those together is that you can angle this depending on the bottom of your kayak and then what did it say? The kickstand must be at the rear of the sea tub. So you can see there's a kickstand here. So the front where you would be pulling it from would be that direction. And then you can put the kickstand down and it shouldn't roll away. But it can fall over. It will fall over. That's what I'm wondering looking at this because it will explode. <laughs> It doesn't seem that secure. Maybe once you got the weight of the kayak on? You're going to have to figure out which way these go. A couple buckles and a ratchet strap. So both get a buckle. Yeah, they've got. Um, They, get some, they have some instructions on here how to do this, and um, you can put the, the rack at the back or the front of your kayak or small boat. Just make sure the kickstand is opposite of the pulling direction, i.e. behind the cart. And they've got a really cool picture here. Um, like I said, it should be able to be you can fold it down pretty easily, obviously, because it took us all of... 10 minutes to put together um, and then pull our part along. They have a picture of thread, ladder, lock into strap, thread strap through the hull pad, feed strap back through the ladder lock. It goes through here and here, obviously. So one. I'm it feels like they gave us extra parts. Maybe in case your kayak's really big or something. I don't know. Well, I think it's supposed to be adjustable. Right. Oh, okay. So that you can shorten or extend the bolt ends somehow. Oh, so then this is going to go up and into that piece. So this piece here is the piece that goes on. Wow, this is the funniest part is watching us do this part.
watch this and laugh and laugh and laugh and tell us all the things that we're doing wrong. So when you're done laughing. And their instructions really don't tell you how to do it. You can tell us what we've done wrong and how to fix it. size we need. Okay. If my head was the kayak, it would be like this, and then he would be pulling me by my feet. <laughs> well, that was pretty easy. We're gonna, we got two. Uh, Santa brought us two, so we're gonna put now the other one to together. Now to figure out the next one. We're gonna put the other one together off camera because this was funny enough, and you don't really need to see us do two. We'll, um, Hopefully be using these in the next couple days and we'll let you know our review of them and if we like them, if we don't like them, if we ended up keeping these straps or getting our own or anything else. So duct tape. Yeah, exactly. You know. So we'll let you know what we think. Thanks. Bye. So this is our client cart that we showed you putting it together. So now we're about to start using it and Steve is gonna I don't know, figure it out while we're filming. Town. Yeah. Without ladybug. Yeah. No, the dog. So it has a kickstand on the one side, and that's supposed to be the back. Opposite. What does it say on the label there? Do not stand on <laughs> or use this people mover. Okay. <laughs> oh, here. Let's see if we can get it really close. Kickstand must be at the rear of the seat tug opposite of the pole direction. Yeah. So. Kickstands in the back, we're gonna pull from the front over there. There. And wind it up. I 
I think he went at Quartz as a back, don't you? Okay. They showed it in their paperwork right here along this. Okay, that makes sense. Is how they showed it. Can you reach the strap? Uh, and not fall over. Yeah. And of course, this is the first time, so straps will need to be adjusted. Solid. It's, 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 oh, that's it? That's all yeah, that's it. That's kind of cool. So wheel it. See what happens when you wheel it. Pull it like out to the road and back. Yeah. We're hoping, in its theory, they should fit in here. So let's see what you're going to need to do to get it in there. Let's see. How do we take it apart? That. Can we pull the press off and since they're already the hard part's done I, can, I wonder if it can fit in just like that or if we're gonna have to pop the wheels off mm, thank you. Steve Steve says they need to take it apart so this is pretty big we got distance back there well, maybe it's not as big as I thought are going to be tight. So the, the kickstand is up, so maybe... That just gets in my way. Oh, okay. I just made stuff harder for him. Oops. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll toss a wheel at you. Okay. Too many things in my hands. to wonder, fit in there. I wonder if you did this. Would that, that doesn't help. Where does this go? Make it all the worse. the wheels in first? No. This isn't going to fit. Okay, take that out. Put that in. And there's nowhere for this. Put then this, put it under that thing, the bungee there. Or we put it under the bungee here. I close the lid. I was hoping it would all fit. I, I was too. But? Okay, so now it's in there. And then... The bilge pump can just go under the bungee here. Mm -mm. Mm, yeah, it just barely fits for this latch. I'm gonna put that under here. There we go. Look at that. Or put this in there. You do that too. Sweet. Okay, now that we need to take it out, put it back together again, because we're going to go high again. You start the clock? Uh, 
We can take those pieces apart too. These yeah. two pieces apart and pull the kickstand off if we needed to. Yeah. And that may break it down a little smaller. Mm -hmm. So that would still fit. Mm -hmm. Maybe. But have to remember you have to turn this upside down to put it on. Lady Bud, come here. So we're home <laughs> and we forgot to video about what we thought about the um, kayak carts. Kayak carts. Here are the wheels that you put under the kayaks. Yeah, the rolly wheels. Yes. The kayak rolly wheels. <laughs> well, we used them on a trip um, when we were in Florida about a month ago. And um, it was the first time we were leaving the dog alone in the RV. And we neglected to... The um, first time we used those. I actually didn't think of the bad news that we got after using them. Yeah. the uh, We came back from our kayak trip, which is lovely. We walked about a mile with the kayaks on the cart. We lo I love them. You know, they worked really well. Yeah. Um, we came back from the trip, and I'll put pictures in. Um, our dog was the first time she'd ever been left alone, and we forgot to crate her. And well, we now need all new curtains on the inside. We're getting, of we're getting the new RV. blinds now. <laughs> Anyway, we we loved. I loved the, the the carts. We had to remember how to take them apart and put them into the hatch. But other than that, it was so it was so easy. It was so so easy. None of this. You hold the front and I hold the back, and we got to walk together. Um, none of that was going on. Unfortunately, you can see Steve petting the dog, but you can't see him in the video. Hi, Cooper. Um, so I love it. Steve, I'm assuming you love it. Yeah, they oh, work very well. We need to adjust the straps a little bit more. They're really long. I mean, you already seen how difficult we had getting the buckles on. Um, so we're going to adjust those straps so it's not quite so long hanging um, on them. But other than that, Fabulous, 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 love, love, love. Anything else you want to add? I forgot to put them back in the kayak when I put the kayaks in storage. So they're here in the house. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that was my fault. Yes. And, and Yes. We, yes, it was your fault. <laughs> it was your fault for not telling me. <laughs> <laughs> but I love them. I, I, I highly recommend them. Um, it was, easy, like he said, easy to put on, easy to take off, easy to collapse, put them into the hatch. Just remember when you get back. Now, one of the things that um, we did is when we got back from our kayak trip. And there's Cooper. And there's Cooper. <laughs> when we got back from our kayak trip, we ended up putting the kayaks up on the bench of our picnic table. So I was able to hose them down and they were able to dry really 
good before we put them away. You know, we're trying to be really good and remember to wash off um, all the, the, wash them off before we take them into a different body of water. So that was really nice too. So they were off the ground and stayed a little cleaner. Um, and Cooper approves of them too. Yes, he does. <laughs> He's a good boy. So anyway, thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed seeing our adventure of kayaking and how to put the racks together. And um, like I said, I recommend them. If you have anywhere that you need to get from the car into where you're launching from and it's in a distance, it's worth the effort to put them on. Um, I if you stay at a campground that has a lake, you can easily roll your kayak right down to where you get in the water. Yep, yep, yep. That was the whole reason we got it. Exactly, exactly. Because who wants to load their kayaks on the top of their car and drive a mile and unload them again? And you don't want to just throw them up there and hope for the best because my luck would be it would hit a pothole and they'd fall off. And Cooper was not the one that tore up the blinds. No. Cooper, <laughs> say hi to the people up there. Say hello. There you Ooh. go. Good boy. Hello. Okay, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.